perspective or can help an inexperienced offensive line? Absolutely. You know, I, I think, again, uh, this game will be tailored to, to, to the personnel. Uh, I, I think they, they're going to learn the skills that we teach them. Sure. So, yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I don't know how to answer that question other than we're teaching them the skills and the techniques that they would need to, to, to use in any scheme, you know, whether it's whether you're adding the read component of a zone read concept or you're under center and you're running inside or outside zone, they're going to need to use those same techniques and execute those same plays. So uh, I don't know if the zone read component is necessarily going to help out our offensive line. Um, it's just it just adds an element for the defense to defend. How much the player staff this year? How did that come together? And is that the first time you all, you guys have started that? Coach Jones has done that um, at various points throughout our time together. It's a way to give the players ownership, uh, and it, it's it's a way to create an accountability to one another. Uh, obviously, we're going to be demanding as coaches, uh, but but they need to be demanding of each other. And, and uh, you know, it, it, it's a um, it's a group that's elected by their teammates, and uh, so so it is. And it's constantly changing. You know, uh, we, we change it seasonally, um, so guys can develop or, or, or guys can tape, uh, can can kind of fall off of that that list. Did you see improvement from the start of practice today to the finish? It came came out. Yeah, rough. you know, we, we challenged them, so they better respond, and they did respond. Um, but we we've been talking a lot about the power of one. You know, one common purpose, one commitment. Uh, one game at a time, one play at a time, one snap at a time, you know? Uh, and, and so much of the idea of looking at things one unit at a time is taking advantage of every opportunity that you have to come out and get the most of it. And when you come out and have a slow start, it's an illustration of you not taking advantage of that opportunity. So, uh, you know, it, it's been a theme of ours uh, all off season and, and, and today uh, we didn't do a good job of that, but again, there's always tomorrow. How do the quarterbacks have a year in the system? And how much should that enable you to go quicker this year? Um, I, they, they're a pretty smart group, you know. And, and in terms of tempo, uh, I, I wouldn't say that that their experience in the system had or has hampered us in any way over the, over in the past. Uh, I, I think as much as anything, as I mentioned earlier, it's having almost our entire offensive unit here since January. That has helped us move faster. Balls on the ground from the quarterbacks. So Coach Jones talked about that after the first day. What specifically are you seeing from those guys, especially Dobbs and, and sailing some of these passes? Sure, there, there's definitely techniques um, and mechanics that we're correcting. Uh, part of it is timing with, with with the receivers, with the tight ends, with the running backs. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it, and, and when you have that many balls on the ground, it's usually a combination of all of it. Uh, but it does start with the quarterback, his accuracy, and his ball location, and that's uh, that's where we need to improve to start with. Sorry, the first day one, Coach Jones said that there were 62 balls in the ground to the receivers and the quarterbacks. Have you seen that improve over the last couple of days? We had, um, yes, yesterday we had high 40s. Today we were mid 40s. So it, it has improved. Uh, that's still too high. We, we, we need to play pitch and catch, and we need to, to hit the open receiver. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, guys. Thank you.